Okay. All right, you guys ready to go? Yeah. yeah. You ready? Yeah. Here we go. We're gathered here today to witness the formal joining of Evan Hendra and Tori Dupuy. I'd like to start by welcoming all of you to Canada. We think it's a pretty spectacular place that we get to live and we get to call home and we're so happy, so happy to get to share this day with you guys. Um, I'd also like to call upon a person who's very special to these two and she's going to open with a few words. Brandy. <laughs> Sure. Thanks. I know you didn't have a memorized. <laughs> <laughs> it's too many words. I have a lot of words. Sure. Thanks. Yeah. That's great. Thank you so much. <clears throat> Losing my voice, so bear with me. <laughs> Hello, everyone. I'd say welcome, friends and family, but I'm pretty sure if you're here and you've traveled this far, Evan and Tori definitely consider you family. We join here today in this unbelievably special place to join two very special people in marriage. It's an incredible privilege for me to help wed both of these souls who I've both known for over a decade. I actually met Evan and Tori separately some time ago, <laughs> but my favorite thing has been getting to know them more deeply together. They have both made leaps and bounds in their lives after falling in love, and it's beautiful to see the growth that has ensued. A great poet once said, I hate accidents, except when we went from friends to this. That <laughs> poet was named Taylor Swift. <laughs> That's exactly what happened with Tori and Evan, two friends who, through their life journeys, seemed to have an invisible string that always kept them aligned. Through their stormiest of life seasons, they kept in touch. <laughs> and they've weathered their fair share of seasons together now. They've seen East Coast winters flourish into spring, which for them is usually marked by extra walkies with midnight <laughs> and escapes to the cape. They've also seen <laughs> all together. <laughs> They've also seen summer slip away into fall. This is usually when Tori restocks Evan's flannels and she selflessly wakes up early to defrost her car. They take care of each other in a way I've never seen. Today we witness them make a promise to continue by each other's sides in every season of life. The fact that these two chose a location rooted in nature for their special day is a testament to the most grounded, at peace version of themselves they've grown into together. I don't know if everyone here believes in miracles, but I will say there was a time that this beautiful bride didn't believe this day would come again for her. And I think that's magic. When I brought my divorced friend from California home a few months ago, she said it's Tori and Evan's love that showed her what love is supposed to be like and reinstated hope in her heart. That's magic. When Tori and Evan welcome me into their home, Tori has dinner cooking on the stove and they both somehow make this workaholic shut her laptop. <laughs> That's magic and that is love. <laughs> they say as you grow older, time flies by faster, but I wish you two a slow life. I hope your days pass slowly, vividly, colorfully, and filled with memories. Tori and Evan know better than anyone that sometimes chosen family is a stronger bond than blood. Congrats on making what I know is the best place of your life. I love you. That was love you. Can we help? Yes. <laughs> I feel like you're me. Yes. yes. I love you guys. Perfect. That was really great. Here's this book back. Thank you. Do you guys need a Kleenex? How are you doing? I think I could use one. There we go. <laughs> Seriously, they're crumpled. They're not it's used. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Do you need one too? No, I think for right now. Uh, you know what? I'm going to need one. There we I'm go. I'm probably going to need one. There I'll, I'll, I'll we go. <laughs> Perfect. Perfect. <sighs> Thanks, Brandy. That was so great. <laughs> okay, okay, good. Yeah. Oh, I'll hold on to this for you. Oh, see, you. that is true love. <laughs> <laughs> He's holding on to her dirty Kleenex. <laughs> Happily. <laughs> All right. Here we go. Marriage is a commitment in life where two people can find and bring out the very best in each other. It offers opportunities for sharing and growth that no other relationship can equal, a physical and emotional joining that has the promise of a lifetime. Marriage deepens and enriches every facet of life. Memories are fresher, commitment is stronger. Marriage understands and forgives the mistakes life is unable to avoid. It encourages and nurtures new life, new experiences, and new ways of expressing love through the seasons of life.
Tori and Evan, your marriage will take more than love. It will take trust to know in your hearts that you want only the best for each other. Dedication to stay open to one another, to learn and to grow even when it's difficult to do so. And faith to go forward together without knowing what the future holds for you both. I now call upon you both in the presence of these witnesses to repeat after me. Tori, we'll start with you. You got this. You got this. I do solemnly declare. I do solemnly declare. That I do not know. That I do not know. Of any lawful impediment. Of any lawful impediment. Why I, Tori. Why I, Tori. May not be joined. May not be joined. In matrimony to Evan. In matrimony to Evan. Oh. Very well done. (laughs) You're nervous now, aren't you? You ready? Yeah. You've got this too. Ready? Here we go. I do solemnly declare. I do solemnly declare. That I do not know. That I do not know. Of any lawful impediment. Of any lawful impediment. Why I, Evan. Why I, Evan. May not be joined. May not be joined. In matrimony to Tori. In matrimony to Tori. Brilliant. (laughs) And now we'll move to the vows. All right, but we're gonna do we're gonna do mine first, okay. and then followed by yours, because mine are <laughs> not going to be as beautiful as what you guys are gonna say, but they're not bad. Okay, oh, Tori. Yes. All right, we'll start with you. I call upon those persons present. I call. Can you? I'm sorry. I absolutely. I call upon those persons present. I call upon those persons present to witness that I, Tori. To witness that I, Tori. Do take you, Evan. Do take you, Evan. To be my lawful wedded husband. (laughs) To be my lawful wedded husband. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. In whatever circumstances. In whatever circumstances. Or experiences. Or experiences. Life may hold for us. Life may hold for us. Okay. I call upon those persons present. I call upon those persons present. To witness that I, Evan. To witness that I, Evan. Do take you, Tori. (laughs) Do take you, Tori. To be my lawful wedded wife. To be my lawful wedded wife. <laughs> to have and to hold. <laughs> to have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. In whatever circumstance. In whatever circumstance. Or experiences. Or experiences. Life may hold for us. Life may hold for us. Brilliant. <coughs> Brilliant. Okay, now I think you have some more special words to yes. say <laughs> to one another. Do you want to go first? And who wants to go first? Or do you want me to? You want me to? It's up to you. It's up to you. From this day forward, I'm yours to command, so. <laughs> you know what? I'll go first. <laughs> Perfect. And I'm just we would have been here a while. <laughs> Evan, never did I... <laughs> I have... Never did I think the best thing that ever happened to me would be found in a 7 a.m. speech class at community college 12 years ago. You were the guy asking if I wanted to work at Abercrombie and Fitch with the tarnished silver earrings and the vineyard vines apparel. Now you're the guy who rolls back our covers each night before bed, the guy who showed me the kitchen is for dancing, my ultimate safe space, and my favorite person in the whole world. You will always be the greatest surprise of my life. It's hard to remember who I was before you. You've shown me a love I've never known. It was unconditional, calm, selfless, genuine, pure, passionate, safe, and silly. Your love filled in all my broken pieces and made me want to be capable of such love, which motivated me to get better. You have redefined love for me. And as a result, you have redefined me. (laughs) This version of me never would have existed without you. I don't know if I've told you this, but you've saved me too. You have added such color to my dark skies. I love your ability to always talk about your feelings. Your endless vulnerability has shaped my own. I love that without fail, you answer my questions with, the answer to that is this, which reminds me so much of your father. (laughs) I love that you've taught me you don't need to be a good dancer to dance because you very well may be the worst dancer I've ever seen. However, we stay tearing up the dance floor. (laughs) I love your inability to say anything bad about anyone and how hard you try to when I'm angry. I love how you always include Midnight in our conversations and share her opinions on whatever topic we are discussing. I love the rarity that is your heart and what I love most of all, sorry, (laughs) is that you chose me to share it with. 
Thank you for loving me with such a patience and delicacy and always reminding me that I am deserving of a love like this, your love. Thank you for never making me feel as though I'm hard to love, especially when we both know it's not always easy. <laughs> Thank you for being my number one fan and celebrating each milestone no matter how little. Thank you for making me want to be better and continuing to get better together. Thank you for taking the time to understand my anxiety and never making me feel ashamed because of it. Thank you for being the best dog dad I could ever ask for. And most importantly, my favorite part of all, thank you for choosing me. There isn't a day where I don't feel like the luckiest woman alive having you by my side. <laughs> I've asked you this question for the past five years and it still doesn't feel real, but can you believe it's you and me? <laughs> I didn't know it was possible for love to strengthen and spread as much as ours does with, with however little time passes. I promise to always love you more than before. I promise to share every thought, opinion, and aspiration with you, even the ones that cause you to eye roll or take my credit card away. <laughs> I promise to always send your food back when it's not what you ordered. I promise to be your fear, fear, your fiercest defender, even when I'm the only one that's upset. I promise to always make fun of and assist with your visual deficit. <laughs> I promise to always ensure our home is a safe space for open communication and vulnerability just as, just as you have designed for me. I promise you the world because together I feel like it's ours. I'll love you forever and even that doesn't feel long enough because somehow, even after all that life has thrown at us, it is you and me. I love you. <laughs> I can't kiss you, Cam. No, I can't. That's, that's, that's okay. Sorry. Isn't that torture? I love you. Milk, eggs, toggle seasoning. No. All right. Tori, first off, I love you with all my heart. Before you, I didn't know it was possible to have a love so deep and to be so deeply loved in return. Over the course of our relationship and the 10 plus years we've known each other, you've seen me at my very best and been there for me at my very worst. You have pushed me to be a better person. And even when I had completely given up on myself, you had never given up on me. I don't know if I can ever find the words to properly thank you for that and explain just what that means to me. You are my very best friend and someone that I've looked up to since we first met. During our first speech class together, you were loud, <laughs> overly friendly to everyone, and I immediately understood that you were someone who was special. That's why I tried sitting next to you during every class. I gave an embarrassing presentation about your performance as a student, and I also asked our professor to pair us up for a final project, which I still can't believe that she actually allowed to happen. <laughs> I was obviously upset and yet unsurprised when I found that you were already taken, but regardless, through it, we became and stage such strong friends. And you were always something I could count on to make me smile, provide me with counsel, and be the shoulder that I could lean on. In the years after, I would always tell people that you were the one that got away. <laughs> when we went our separate ways after college, you made it a point to always reach out to me when you hadn't heard from me for a while. Even finding and emailing my dad when I went off the grid for a period of time. <laughs> I should have known then that I would never find someone who would care for me the way that you do. A couple of years after that, you and I hung out once, just once, the two of us alone, and after that we were a couple. <laughs> Darling, this has been an absolutely wild ride that we've been on together. But I think we both know that as unexpected as we were, it was also written since the day that we met. One of the things that has made this relationship stand out is just how much the two of us have grown together as a couple. When we first started this adventure together, we both had a lot that we needed to work on. You used to drop me up a wall, <laughs> And I guess there were some times where it might have made you a little upset too. Maybe. <laughs> but the point is that we took the time to listen to each other, to understand the other, and to make commitments to one another, to make changes, to be better partners. I suppose that that is my first promise to you. During our forever together, whenever we don't see eye to eye on something, I will always patiently be there to hear you, your thoughts and your feelings, to converse with you, and come to a place of understanding. We may not always agree on everything, <laughs> but I will always listen and take the time to understand where it is that you're coming from. I promise you too to always strive to keep growing as a person. 
If there's one thing that I want more than anything else in this life and in this marriage, it's to be the best version of myself that I can be for you, for me, and for us. I know full well that there's going to be times where I'm going to get knocked down, but I will never allow myself to stay down again. Over the course of this relationship, you've retaught me something that I had forgotten for many years. That life really is beautiful, every moment really is special, and leading a life without recognizing those things leads to a life wasted. I vow to never stop being curious. <laughs> as we continue to venture through life together, I will always be right by your side as we explore the world around us. I will never lose my sense of wonderment for you and in life, and will always be ready to discover all the big and little things with you. Whether it's a new place or a new perspective, I will continue to ask questions and learn and teach what little I've gleaned along the way. I will always be your pizza buddy on our quest for the perfect slice of pepperoni. <laughs> as cliche and redundant as it may be, I would be remiss not to promise you to always be loyal to you. This promise goes much deeper than simply being yours and only yours. I will always offer honest advice, be by your side, no matter how grave or seemingly insignificant the matter at hand, and be there to lift you up whenever you get lost in the dark. I'm here for you and whatever it is that you may need and will always be excited to do whatever it is that I can for you. Tori, I will always keep the memory of Ron alive. As it is, I ask him questions fairly regularly like, how do you put up with this? Or why would she do that? <laughs> I also ask <laughs> what I can do for you whenever you seem sad, anxious, or upset so that I can better make you smile and laugh, and he always gives sound advice. He will, he will forever be in, in your heart and in mine. At some point, I will quit my job, so you can finally <laughs> stop hearing me complain about it all the time. <laughs> I will always do whatever I can so, to make you happy. You and I are one, and your happiness and well-being are mine as well. I will make decisions with you, and whatever is in my power to help you live the best life and pursue your wildest dreams. Doing whatever I can to make you happy also means doing whatever I can to keep you from hurt. I will never act selfishly, let alone in malice, and will never make any decision in life without thinking of you first and foremost. And I will always and forever love you. This isn't necessarily a promise because it's not even a choice. No matter what the future has in store for us, I have loved you for a very, very long time now, and I always will. There are few people who can light up a room the way that you do, who push themselves like you have, and are as full of love for those in your life as you are. There are few people, man, there are few people who, are actually, who, are, who are indeed actually special, and I get to have the pride and joy in spending my life with one of them, you. I love you, darling, with all my heart. No. <laughs> I feel really mean. I, I really do. I really do. Oh, you guys, that was beautiful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You have to be a fresh. Yeah, look at that. Oh. Well, the next part of the ceremony is the ring exchange, and Brandy's going to take care of that, and someone has some rings, I believe. Yes. Tony, it's your time to shine. <laughs> Sorry. Thank you Book. so much. What do, do I you start? Go? Yeah. yeah. Right here. Thank, Thank you. you so much. Here, I'll help with this. If each of you oh. takes the other's ring. Oh. <laughs> how would you how would you know? You've not done how this before. Know? How would you know? <laughs> first time doing this, isn't it? Yeah. Um <laughs> I'm gonna pull it together. Sorry, <laughs> repeat after me. Evan, I give you this ring. Evan, I give you this ring. That you may wear it. That you may wear it. As a lasting reminder. As a lasting reminder. Of our marriage vows. Of our marriage vows. And as a symbol. And as a symbol. Of my love and commitment <laughs> to you. Of my love and commitment to you. Oh. <laughs> Bless you. Bless you. <laughs> Okay, now Evan, place the ring on the third finger of Tori's left hand, repeating after me. Tori, I give you this ring. Tori, I give you this ring. That you may wear it. 
that you may wear it as a lasting reminder as a lasting reminder of our marriage vows of our marriage vows and as a symbol and as a symbol of my love and commitment to you as as my love and commitment to you good job guys <laughs> <laughs> still no kissing uh, <laughs> almost there we're almost there another hour <laughs> um and I think maybe what we'll do is we'll, we'll do the signing afterward. Okay. And uh, so as soon as you can get that kiss in <laughs> and we can meet at the back you got and it. then the two witnesses. Yes. God, you Which are you two? Rick oh, and Claire. Okay. Rick and Claire. <laughs> Perfect. Um, so just before we make this official, we have one last announcement. Uh, the couple will be taking family photos in the area and you're most welcome to hang out. Uh, when the pictures are all done, the shuttles are going to be heading back to Lake Louise for about an hour. Uh, if you'd like more or less time there, please just let your driver know, and I think they will adjust accordingly. Mm -hmm. Cocktail hour will begin at 6.30 and reception at 7.30. Does that sound about right? Mm -hmm. Perfect, okay, here we go. And now you could hold hands again. Okay. You know, any time that we're out here, I, I kind of like to end with uh, something uh, called the Apache Blessing, and it's, I think you'll really like it. Now you will feel no storms, for each of you will be shelter to the other. Now you will feel no cold, for each of you will be warmth for the other. Now there is no loneliness, for each of you is companion to the other. You are two persons, but there is one life before you and one home. Turn together to look at the road you've traveled, to reach this hour of your happiness. It stretches behind you into the past. Look to the future that lies ahead, a long and winding adventure-filled road whose every turn means discovery, new hopes, new joys, new laughter, and a few shared tears. May happiness be your companion. May beauty surround you both in the journey ahead and through all the years to come. Go this day to your dwelling place and enter into your days together. May your days be good and long upon the earth. Your adventure has just begun. <laughs> Tori and Evan, you have consented in marriage and you've declared your solemn intention in this company before these witnesses and in my presence. You've exchanged these rings as a pledge of your love to each other and you've joined your hands to accept one another. And now, <laughs> upon the authority vested in me by the province of Alberta. I pronounce you legally married. Give me a second to get out of the way. Evan, you may kiss your bride. <laughs> <laughs>